everyone this is karthikeen i am studying mba in aditya school of business management a special thanks to sundar pandey sir for giving this opportunity to make this video thank you sir today we talk about mukesh pansal mukesh pansal is a businessman who founded the indian fashion e-commerce company mintra and currently serves as ceo of belfit which of his also co-founded mukesh has been listed in the 40 ma- developed companies and enterprises for fortune magazines this we talk about mukesh pansal there is life Bansu was born in Uttarakhand. He was done his B.Tech from IIT Kanpur. After he graduated in 1987, he worked in Delicate as a system analyst in Chicago for two years. Then he was inspired from by the dot-com boom that was in progressing in San Francisco. After giving the job Protal Venture, which he started with a friend, Bansu worked at the event Santrada, Nextatag, Newscale, which are the early stage companies in Silicon Valley. He strolled in these startups that have included the engineering and project manager across the technology. Then we talk about how Bansal entered into the business life. Bansal expanded at Silicon Valley were helpful to start a and launch Mintra application in 2007. But in 2014, Mintra was acquired by the Flipkart for $330 million, which was the largest e-commerce related occasion in India. Bansal continued as the chairman of Mintra board and managed the commerce and advertising platform into 2016. After Flipkart acquisition of Mintra, Mukesh was joined Flipkart as the head commerce of an advertising business. In his role, Mukesh ramped the e-commerce company talent and his philosophy. Under his leadership, Flipkart went to achieve the 5 billion in the annual revenue. Mukesh co-founded Yeah, Calfit application, it's mainly for fitness time and well-being startup in 2016. Pukesh is also on the board, uh, board of Olimi Gold Guest, a non-profit foundation that promotes his sports and games. Then we talk about Mukesh Burnsil's success can be classified into several factors. Innovative vision, entrepreneurial drive, customer-centric approach, adaptability, team building, industry knowledge, leadership skill and networking. Collectively, these qualities and strategic contributed to Mukesh Burnsil's success in the e-commerce business industry. At video conclusion, what I learned from Mukesh Burnsil, first one is innovative vision. Because innovative vision is the most, most ever and ever refreshing term in business. Mukesh Burnsil says, Don't, we could not see about 20 days, we could see about and we could predict about 20 years. Because there is a few more examples for Mukesh Burnsil's prediction. In 2007, there was started and launched here. Mintra applications for e-commerce. In that time, there is a lot, there is a no lot of uh, smartphones and there is no lot of internet facilities. But Mukesh Manjul was start in 2007. There is an e-commerce business. That's a very clever idea. But unfortunately, 2014, uh, Mintra were acquired by Flipkart. But Mukesh Manjul were tried to become a CEO of Flipkart. That's very important. Uh, Mukesh Manjul was start up with Flipkart in uh, head head of commerce and business enterprises in his in his laws and in his leadership and in his philosophy in his talent flipkart were achieve a 5 billion revenue in that year uh, that, that was a ever ever profitable year in flipkart history after mukesh mansal were received the 5 billion dollars to flipkart the flipkart decided to become to promote the mukesh mansal to ceo of the flipkart that's a, that's a, that was a more achievement for mukesh mansal Mukesh Manjil says, if you want one thing, you cannot focus that one thing. You have to make that one thing to want and achieve that. That's all the words are Mukesh Manjil says. That's all I learned from Mukesh Manjil. Thanks for watching. Thanks for giving the opportunity. Thanks for ASBM. This is my first YouTube video. Thank you. Thanks for those who are watching. Thank you. What are some of the thinkings that you should do to build a good product? I think a few things that go through my mind is, first of all, like, this clarity about problems. And what problem exactly are you trying to solve, right? Sometimes you may have a, you know, nifty looking product but the you know the problem statement may be diffused yeah. and that will never really resonate with the consumers second is simplicity i think again this is a mantra that you know most product people will repeat but in practice very hard because you know as a product manager easiest thing for me is to add a feature hardest thing is to you know eliminate features and you know after some time discard things i think the so that is um, quite important third is you know there has to be something 
like a really wow element in the product something that stays with the user so the good product company figure out it may be out of 20 features maybe just one thing but that's something you know stays with the user and it's again very very hard you know it will require you to eliminate lot of things keep experimenting you know be really really obsessed about measuring data and uh, Uh, not assuming something is wow until there is an overwhelming evidence yeah. that truly is wow for people.